Your Weather Authority local forecast. Welcome back. Well, we're experiencing some storm activity and even just a few moments ago hearing some thunder already. So we are continuing to experience some severe showers and thunderstorms across the desert southwest. So make sure you're being prepared and even looking outside pretty dark out there. We're seeing mostly cloudy skies and starting to pick up with those winds. So a little breezy out there even as of right now. So just be on the lookout with these severe storms. Just be prepared. You know, we could experience lightning, thunder, gusty winds and blowing dust and another thing to be in the lookout that I'm tracking is even some flooding. So let's go ahead and take a look at um, this map here because there's some flood warnings that are in place. Mainly for the La Paz areas is where the flood warnings are at and that is until 8 30 until 8 p.m. tonight. But there are some flood advisories, the south central of Yuma County, and those are in place until 8 30. So those are still something to be on the lookout for. Now here's a little bit on what I'm tracking with these storms. So we are getting some storm activity here in the desert southwest. So even in Flagstaff areas experiencing some heavy rainfall as well. So right now we are continuing to see that. So here's a look, a closer look, because there is that severe thunderstorm warning until 630. And that's again going to be for Yuma, the south of excuse me, Yuma South Central. And then also we're going to continue to have those rain showers staying in place. So here's a look for what we can expect for even tonight. We do have continuing some spotty showers, some thick clouds, and that'll continue over the next several days. So even going into tomorrow is when we can experience a few showers here and there. So just keep that in mind. We do have that monsoonal moisture, so it's bringing us those greater chances to experience some showers and thunderstorms, especially even going into Friday. That's when we'll experience those greater chances. But for the most part, we'll continue to see some thick cloud coverage and again, some spotty activity here and there. But we do have that potential for storm cells to start to develop as early as Friday morning. But here's another thing that I'm tracking too with our temperatures. We're going to continue to stay near our seasonal average but with the humidity. It's not going to feel all that comfortable because we are going to feel a little sticky out there. But even going into tonight, we will drop down into those double digits and a little relief from that triple digit mark. But again, the main focus is that we're going to have those sticky conditions sticking with us. So 62 and 51 and then as we go into tomorrow, they'll continue to pick up. But let's go ahead and look at our air quality index presented by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Not bad. We're looking at moderate and good overall. But let's go ahead and look at our, the rest of our week on our eight day forecast. So we'll see greater rain chances starting to roll in as we're going into our weekend. And then even Imperial Valley will have those greater rain chances as well. So keep being on the lookout for those severe storms. Back to you, Scott. Are on the road.